discuss this now. Brooks about to be cross-examined. Jonathan, I really think you should read this. We're going to be set up for contempt if you don't sit down. Read it, will you? It's going to change the whole face of your case. Mr. Young, would you do us the courtesy of allowing Ms. Emerson to cross-examine the witness? I'm, I'm sorry, Your Honor, but uh, please, I'd like to request a brief recess. Now? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Uh, just a couple of minutes, if it please the court. We'll take a ten-minute recess. Hey, babe. Mike. I had to call all over town to find out where you were. And now here I am bringing you flowers. What's wrong with this picture? I'm, I'm sorry, I should have let you know. You're darn right you should have. They really are beautiful. They're roses. You're beautiful. How you doing? Frightened. There's something wrong with the baby. Excuse me. I don't like it, Teresa. Jones has found something. Yeah, whatever it is, they're happy about it. Do you have any idea what it is? Not a clue. That's what worries me. Well, why should it worry you? We know who the guilty party is. Yeah, but does the jury? Well, whatever it is, it won't come out today. They'll never put Jones on the stand. Why not? Because he's hiding something. And I'd love to get at him. Are you sure about this? Absolutely. Well, let's get it up there. We will, right after Brooks' cross-examination. Um, how are you going to do that? Well, obviously, you're going to take the stand. What? It's your work. You have to explain it. Can't we convince the judge to put Hunter on the stand right now? I don't know if Teresa wants to continue questioning Brooke. Uh, uh, look, look, guys, we should talk about this. What about it? You don't want me up there testifying. Why not? What's going on here? Hunter's having second thoughts about our defense. Are you? This isn't the place to discuss it, guys. Look, just, just don't put me up there, all right? I have to. Oh, Jonathan, no. We're back in session here, ladies and gentlemen. No more interruptions, please. Ms. Emerson. You can cross-examine the witness. Uh, Your Honor, uh, it's apparent that the uh, defense counsel would like to put Mr. Jones on the stand. If this is true, I'll waive my right to cross-examine Brooke Chambers for the moment. Are you sure? Absolutely, Your Honor. Mr. Young, do you want Mr. Jones to testify? Yes, Judge, I do. Mr. Jones, will you come up here and be sworn in? Mr. Jones. This is a bad idea, Jonathan. So what did the doctor say? Not much. I'm, I'm just supposed to stay in bed. Ah, so, so what are you worried about? I've been bleeding. Well, I, I'm sure if the doctors don't think it's serious... They don't know what to think at this point, Mike. The one thing that I know is I, I can't give birth to this baby. Not now. It's, it's too early. She wouldn't survive. Sheila, I'm sure the baby's going to be just fine. I mean it. I know about these things. Sure you do. Well, hey, I'm no Dr. Kildare, but I know how much you want this baby. You know what I did last night? What? I said, you know, I prayed. For me? Hey, I wasn't going to be praying for me. I'm helpless. 
course it was for you. You're a really good friend, you know that. That's an understatement, Sheila. A very big understatement. I don't think you really know how much you mean to me. Mike, you're a really good friend. But it's never going to be anything more than that. You know, we've had this talk before. Why, why can't you just accept it and be my buddy, huh? It's gone way beyond that for me. Oh, Mike. I, look, I, I don't want you to feel bad about me. Hey, I brought some cards. What do you say we play some gin rummy? I can't. Why? Well, James called a while ago. He's on his way over. And I'm still on the lam. I, I can't be around here when he shows up. I'm sorry. You really think it's going to happen for you and the shrink? Uh, it's been more attentive than ever. Though I'm sure that's because of the baby. No, 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 it's not. It's because of you. He loves you. How could he not? Please tell the ladies and gentlemen of the jury something about your background, Mr. Jones. I did my postgraduate degree in chemistry at the University of Melbourne. I then moved to Scotland Yard for five years where I worked in their crime laboratories. I then came here for 12 months on loan to the LAPD as part of the reciprocal exchange program. Oh, you mentioned crime lab. Any specific position? Ballistics and related matters. Did that include the testing for gunshot residue? Yes, it did. What is gunshot residue? Tell the jury, please. It's the residue of burnt gunpowder that comes back out of a gun, under the hands, and sometimes clothing of anybody who fires a handgun. And how is gunshot residue, or GSR, identified? By finding and identifying trace amounts of barium and antimony. Does the mere presence of barium and antimony on a person's hand mean that that person's fired a gun? Not necessarily. Or when does it not indicate that? When it's not actually gunshot residue. Well, not so the jury can understand. Yeah. Are you saying that barium and antimony is not gunshot residue? Sometimes it is, when it's simply the elements of barium and antimony. Well, how do you know when it's just barium and antimony, but not gunshot residue? When you find the right amounts of both, or when the amounts found are out of proportion to each other. Have you examined the lab reports in this case, showing the presence of barium and antimony on the defendant's hand after he was arrested? Yes. In your expert opinion, does the barium and antimony on Ridge's hands indicate gunshot residue? In my opinion, no, it does not. Can you tell us why not? For comparison purposes, I tested one of the cartridges out of the gun in question. Now, based on that test, there was too much antimony and not enough barium found on the hands of the defendant. Let me ask you this. If the barium and antimony found on Ridge Forrester's hand is not GSR, how did it get there? I mean, is there any way those elements could have gotten onto his hands without firing a gun? Judge, I don't see the purpose of this. The purpose will be very clear before we end our case, Your Honor. Before you finish this witness, Mr. Young, otherwise I'll have to strike the witness's testimony. Proceed. All right, I'll ask you again. If the barium and antimony on Ridge Forrester's hands is not GSR, what is it? How did it get 